Hello everyone. I'm starting off a vlog going back to Savannah today and it is my last day in this bedroom because my brother is getting this room when I leave. They're gonna be switching on this summer so I'm gonna say goodbye to this bedroom and we're gonna go back to Savannah today. I'm so excited. Suitcase is packed. It might be overweight which is not good but we're gonna head off soon. No vlog at the airport but we're back! Look at how pretty everything looks. Yay, Allison got me to the airport. <gasps> Let's check out my new dress. I got a dress for my birthday. It's so sparkly. Look at this dress. That's really beautiful. Yes, we're Yay! back. Yay, two out of three roomies. Yes, no idea when Reese is coming back. We'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna throw in so much laundry. Yes, kitchen looks good so far. An apartment tour will be coming and I have to finish cleaning my room. Exciting. Yes, very exciting. I have lots to finish. I'm gonna throw my comforter in first and then I have actual clothes to wash. I'm so happy to be back. I was very out of breath from walking up the stairs with my suitcase. Okay, bye. We did a big grocery run and then we went south Forsyth for dinner with like a cute little charcuterie board. So that was fun. But I think I'm gonna call it a night and just kind of clean and organize because I'm still like finishing unpacking my suitcase. I don't really have a ton of light in here besides like one overhead light. I don't, I don't have blind. So like I like the light. I still just deal with all my shoes. But we have a shoe rack coming in in a couple days as well as my clothing rack. It will be here on Tuesday. Tuesday is a very busy day for me. See you guys in the morning to use my espresso maker for the first time. So excited. Good morning, everyone. I got up and got ready. It is currently 8.43. I got up at 8 and I just like started getting ready for my day. I'm gonna go throw a little dry shampoo in my hair because I washed it last night. Anyways, um, I'm wearing this today. I'm getting my nails done at 10.30. So this top is actually from Shein. Don't get mad at me for that. These shorts are Forever 21. started this is random tea i ordered little espresso cups like to catch it the mr coffee one i wanted something like cheap because i don't need to spend 600 dollars on an espresso maker this was 50 dollars at target okay so you're not gonna be able to see my head but i think i figured it out i just cleaned the machine so i'm gonna start by doing my almond milk i think because i'm gonna make like a macchiato two shots of espresso I don't know if that's good for now, like half a cup. My guess is that this is like one shot. It says make sure they're scooped, yeah. There's a line inside of this that I'm filling it to. Okay, now you gotta press down to level, like lightly, so not to do it too much works. I'm just gonna use one of my mugs and then I'll pour it into the cup after because I want ice. Oh my god, I know I spilled some, but this is so good. I did the perfect amount of everything. I did put a little vanilla in there. All right, I'm gonna clean up and everything. And definitely say that this is good recommendation. It works pretty well. So I have to do like a certain thing to turn it off. Nice, look at me, barista. 
I made myself my breakfast. The shirt keeps like riding up. I need to like tape it down. I made my breakfast. I made approach for breakfast. Banana almond butter. It's vanilla almond butter from Justin's. Some granola from the farmer's market from the Blissful Whisk. My favorite. My favorite stand. Coconut flakes. Those are my toppings on it. The oats are just vanilla protein powder, gluten-free oats, and some vanilla almond milk. I'm, I want to start buying like different almond milk. I want to go to like Whole Foods and get like one that has only almonds and water as the like ingredients. I don't want to like keep using the almond breeze that's like so sugary and like not good for you. Mmm, so good. I love my oat. Coffee is actually delicious. I think the coffee beans I got are a little bit strong, but like they're so very good. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I have like 30 minutes before I'm gonna start walking to my nail appointment to get my nails redone. I'm just gonna get like pink. So excited for that. And then I have homework to do today. Maybe I'll go sit at a coffee shop to do it. I don't know, but I kind of also want to like sit here in my room. But at the same time, I'm gonna be doing class from here every day. So I might go to a coffee shop and do some homework. I love the lighting in my bedroom. It is gorgeous. But anyways, like look at how pretty this is the natural light. Obsessed. Um, I'm in my room. I'm back from getting my nails done. You can kind of see. I got a, be a Barbie paint and I don't know if I said this, but they're filming a movie in our apartment literally inside of it right now, which is kind of like crazy, but like the road's all blocked off outside and it's just funny that I just like walked back and I'm just filming. So I guess they know I live here because they didn't say anything when I walked out. I don't know. Cool, but like strange because there's just people everywhere and the door is wide open. So bugs are flying in and our building is so old that there are like a lot of flies and like small like insects, which it sounds really disgusting but obviously you're gonna have bugs wherever you are but like there's a lot here because it's just so it's such an old building that i feel like they're getting in through some like window crack or something but the front door has been open for hours and that's not helping at all we have to like talk to our landlord to get someone to come in but yeah i just got my nails done like a barbie pink wait a minute the like viewfinder is upside down right now so it, you can see them though and i'm about to do my homework like pre-quarter assignments i have to make an intro video for my math class and my business class that's that's all I have to do for math, just an intro video and then I show up on Wednesday, which is great. And then I have to do a couple other things for my business class. So that's why I figured I'm gonna go, I'm gonna film these intro videos right now and get those uploaded. And then I head over to Franklin's to finish everything else I have to do. That's kind of like my plan. I think I'm gonna film these videos. Some of my Amazon packages are gonna be coming in today. I think it's just my, I have uh, like six different things that are coming in, but today it says my uh, espresso shot glasses to make my coffees. And then two like cookbook things are are on their way today and then everything else tomorrow so i'm gonna try to get these pre-court assignments done now because i just need to and then i'll let you know when i'm heading to franklin's so see ya okay guys i'm watching youtube videos but i just looked up oh wait i didn't update you guys okay so they're literally filming a, like a tv show right now it's like a mini series that's being filmed literally inside of our apartment building and outside they covered the entire street with dirt so you'll probably see it tomorrow for a little bit i might show a little bit actually kind of crazy that they're doing that so we are getting paid for an inconvenience fee and i was a little upset i got an email from amazon that my package couldn't be delivered today because of like they couldn't access the front door or anything because the whole road is blocked off. I went downstairs asking when is this over and can I get my packages delivered? So they were like yes we will let the trucks through now they had a mis I guess a miscommunication we'll let them through and we'll actually bring them right to your door because they don't want them in the hallway. It's just so funny like we had no idea this was happening. Our landlord didn't tell us that like this is happening but I guess they didn't really know that people are, were going to be here this summer which we shouldn't have to tell them like, that we're coming back but not the point. Anyways my clothing rack should be here tomorrow and so will all of my Amazon things. I'm praying they make it through fine and hopefully they'll just bring them right upstairs for me because they are a little bit heavier things so it's kind of worked out but I did measure and the clothing rack should fit on this wall perfectly what I want to do is put my pictures covering this wall here and I have a lot of pictures I have friend pictures which I think I want to start at the bottom just do all the friend ones and then go up to my pretty ones because like I feel like this would be a cute picture spot you know with like a clothing rack and like fun pics I think I'm just gonna start I might actually just do it I might not go all the way to the corner because the clothing rack's gonna be there and I don't really want the clothing rack to block it off I probably should look up how deep and then figure out exactly how that's gonna work because I don't want it to block everything you know so I might like frame it out and figure that out because that might be smart so i made pasta for dinner it's a really good one it's from frolly gourmet it's actually one of the little italian restaurants right here that's local i'm gonna put the pictures up on this wall i'll just do a time lapse and figure it out as i go listen
This is all I can really do tonight, which is a lot because I ran out of sticky things. So I did end up just stopping to put like put like the backs on all of them that I could, but I ran out of them. That's how many pictures I have to put up in my wall. And I think it's gonna actually perfectly reach the top. If not, I have more pictures than that. But I wanna stop because I have a lot of them that I didn't put the backs on yet. I put the sticky, the post-its on or the command strips on that I want on like the middle part. You won't be able to see the bottom as much. See, it's crooked. From down here, it looks very crooked. But from standing up, it's not as bad. I'm gonna keep it how it is. I think it looks good. My room is coming along. I'm probably gonna head to bed soon because I have some things in the morning and then work. My first day work tomorrow. So see you guys probably tomorrow. Hello vlog. Oh, I just love the lighting. I can't get over it. Oh, it's a little, a little washed out. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so today's my first day of work and I'm very, very excited. I have to wear only, I can only wear white or neutrals. So I love pink, but I sadly cannot wear it all the time to work. Um, So that's why I got my nails done pink. I wanted something fun. Anyways, I have this dress on today. I'll show you guys. It's from Marshalls. I got it like right, I got it when I was at home. It like kind of reminds me of like an apron in a way, but like it's cute and it's like professional and cute. So it's like a little bit like large. I don't know. It's not my favorite. It's not flattering at all, but like it works. I just have to. And I have to wear sneakers, so that sucks, but it's fine. I have to have like clothes, closed toed shoes. Anyways, I work at two, from two to six, I'm getting trained. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm very, very, very excited. I had a sketch at AMP this morning and then in 10 minutes I have a zoom with one of my advisors because I'm trying to study abroad this winter for three weeks. I guess that's like my updates. I was working on my wall last night and I kind of showed you guys I ran out of little things like sticky tabs. Um, the command strips I used to do it. I ran out of those just chilling out until my move till my zoom it's like the last part of my application because you have to like apply and get accepted to go on the trip so i'm praying that it happens like i get accepted and i can go all my packages are out for delivery i need to text the guy i should get them in the next then i can set my clothing rack up oh my god yay i'm so excited okay so i will talk to you guys hopefully when i get my packages and after this meeting i got my packages finally and they just helped me bring them all upstairs for me okay so first thing we got here i got a mouse for my computer this is an air mattress and we got like a nice one that has like the built-in pump and we looked in we looked up like the best air mattresses and we bought this one because my mom's gonna be sleeping on this when she comes down she could just stay with me in my bed which is what we normally do but she's like i just want i'll sleep on the air mattress so it's like if we get a nice one so oh, air mattress done and that will fit right in here i'm in the process of reorganizing my stuff okay these are the bug catchers so there's flies everywhere and it's just an old building and they're gonna come in like fruit flies and stuff so i got like electric bug catchers so we hope they work we'll put one like near our rooms and one near the kitchen but yeah so these are both the racks i should have one more package i'm gonna build these my shoe racks we're gonna put these in the hallway for all of us to use and then this is my clothing rack like rock thing that i'm gonna put right here it's like right in here so i'm just gonna start putting stuff together because then i can get rid of all the shoes that are here and then organize my clothes in it so it's 11 45 which means i'm gonna really make myself a sandwich or something for lunch because i'm starving and i'm gonna be leaving for work in like an hour and a half well i'm leaving it for work at like 1 30 ish oh my god yum so salami turkey cheese and vegan mayo and some grapes i love red grapes The rack is right there. I'll fill it later because I'm about to leave for work. My first shift. I hope it goes so well. I'll let you guys know exactly how it happens, how it goes after. I unfortunately have to ruin my outfit with a pair of sneakers. I mean, it's not terrible, but like, it's not ideal. It's hot already and I have to walk, so see you later. I just got back from my first like shift. I just ate dinner though too. I just had like an apple with almond butter, like the hazelnut one from like Justin's almond butter and cantaloupe because I just wanted like fruit and I was hungry. I'm tired, but it was a good day. I learned so much today. Um, I took home a rose that I like pack it, packed up myself, so that was cool. But anyways, I got one more Amazon package that was brought upstairs for me because of the movie being shot, and they are espresso shot glasses. So it tells you on them, I got them, that said double espresso, double ristretto, single espresso, single ristretto. So that's cool. I'm gonna be doing double shots of espresso, so. And then I also got two 
cookbooks. This is Fiber Fuel, fueled, and it's like all about like restoring your gut health. And then I have the cookbook of it as well. I listened to like a podcast about this, so really cool. I am exhausted from being on my feet for a couple hours. I'm just not used to like that much in a day. So I'm gonna like wind down and like put PJs on and stuff, and I'm going to organize my clothing rack. So my camera's gonna die, and I have editing to do, and I have class tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Good morning everyone. It is 6.30 in the morning and it's Wednesday now. Um, I actually ended up setting up my clothing rod last night, but it was pitch black when I did it because my light in my room is not working and I haven't been able to get it on. So I haven't talked to you guys. So I just kind of wanted to come on here and end the video. I want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys. The sunrise, you and me still.